you want to make sure your company name is always in harmony with your name. So when you name a company something that's toxic, this is where everything feels uphill. It's not necessarily destined for failure, but everything will be more difficult than it needs to be. And there are certain numbers and names of companies that suit the business better than others. So if you're like an accounting firm, you might want to give your company a a name that adds up to four. Absolutely. (laughs) That is the number of the accountant. Okay. Um, Do you know, but if you're, if you're a marketing agency, you're creative, you're going to want it to add up to five or three. So. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Wow. There's so many things to think about. Your Instagram name, everything. I'm going to have to look up whether my business name matches my name after this too. So again, is it, is, is it like you're trying to make sure the energies of the numbers are harmonious? Kind of like a three doesn't go with a four versus no, a three a goes three, with a five. A three right? doesn't go with a four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I'm starting to get it. <laughs> yeah. So it's called concords. Some numerologists call them triads. And so three, six, nine is a natural triad, one, five, seven, or two, four, eight. Um, but in saying that, Two energy also goes well with six energy. Five energy and three energy generally get along. Um, one and eight is is generally quite, if it's a relationship, sometimes that's quite hot. Um, they tend to love each other until they stop and then they hate each other. It's like War of the Roses energy, kind of like a really intense and then burning itself out. Um, you know, so you have to always look for balance. You want to look at everything involved. I'm just running lavender. I'm seeing what's I love it. (laughs) She's doing her calculations. I'm doing math. So lavender, this is interesting. Yeah. What's Um, the number? I'm just looking here. Okay. So lavender has a three soul number, which is that communication. And it's the same as your birthday number. So that means I chose a good a good name. (laughs) Yeah, that means you can actually love what you do, right? Mm. It can be from the heart. So I like that for you. I love that. Um, And then lavender, uh, the consonants are four, but you have a four attitude number, and so that actually works for you as well. And that's that's where I notice your company is very. um, You're very well put together. You're very structured. Like everything is like as it should be. Right. And so that really works for you because you have some four energy in your chart. Overall, that comes to a seven, which happens to be the same as your maturity number. (laughs) Okay. And so this means you can have that company for a long time. But seven energy really likes to be the expert in something. And you truly have established yourself as the lifestyle expert, podcaster extraordinaire. So you're good.